A perfect ride may be elusive, but a perfect career may be the correct description for the 20 plus years Billy Atbauer entertained and thrilled rodeo fans all across the country. As for the perfect ride, he strived for it every time he nodded his head. His impact on saddle bronc riding and pro rodeo will echo for generations. Five world championships, the first in 1992 and the final in 2004 at the age of 41. A record 21 straight Wrangler NFR rodeo appearances, an amazing 51 go-round wins at the Wrangler NFR, and more than $3 million in career earnings. Billy is among a very rare club of cowboys to reach the $3 million plateau. What separates him even more is the fact that he earned nearly every penny in just a single rough stock event. An original member of what he called the Band of Brothers, traveling with older brother Robert, who eventually won two world titles, younger brother Dan, who qualified for 10 trips to the Wrangler NFR, and friend Craig Latham, a nine-time NFR qualifier himself, they started by pooling their winnings just to help each other survive financially. The all-for-one, one-for-all model they operated under initially was the foundation for everyone's success. His go-for-broke riding style made him a favorite among fans and garnered unparalleled respect from his peers, reflected by the multitude of top contemporary bronc riders who list him as their rodeo idol. His unrelenting passion for matching his skills against great bucking horses and a physical toughness allowed him to compete at the highest level for a quarter of a century. As a result, many of those who idolized him found themselves standing next to him on the deck of the Wrangler NFR bucking chutes. And even in the twilight of his career, he was a more than formidable rival. As for his new status in the Hall of Fame, Billy remains very humble and says, when it's all said and done, the real blessing is all the friends and fans you have met along the way. Billy Edbauer now takes his rightful place in the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame.